In today's video, we're going to look at how ultrasound works and see how it's used in prenatal scanning, industrial imaging, and sonar. Now, all we mean by ultrasound is sound that vibrates at frequencies above 20,000 Hz, so above the range of human hearing. Some animals, like bats, naturally produce ultrasound for things like communication or echolocation. But as humans, we only produce ultrasound using electrical devices. This works in basically the same way as a typical speaker. We just produce electrical oscillations that are then converted to sound waves. Only in the case of ultrasound, we're converting the oscillations into ultrasound waves. Whenever ultrasound hits a boundary between two different mediums, like air and water, some of the waves will be reflected off the boundary, and some will be transmitted through, where they'll be refracted. We call this process partial reflection, because only some of the waves are being reflected. This means that if we fire ultrasound waves at an object, the waves will travel through the object, but every time it hits a boundary, some of the waves will be reflected back to us. This means that if we know the speed of the sound wave, and the time it takes to be reflected, we can work out how far away that boundary is. And by doing this repeatedly, with all of the different reflected waves, we can learn about the different boundaries within the object, which tells us about its internal structure. And luckily for us, ultrasound is completely safe, so there's no need to worry about radiation or anything. The best known example of using this technique is probably in the ultrasound machines that we use to scan fetuses. This works by placing an ultrasound device, which can transmit and receive the ultrasound waves, onto a pregnant woman's belly, and firing ultrasound waves towards the fetus. Every time the waves pass from one medium to another, like here, between tissue and the fluid that surrounds the fetus, or here, between the fluid and the fetus itself, some of the waves are reflected back to the device and the timings and distributions of these echoes are then processed by a computer to produce a live image of the fetus, which can be used to check if it's healthy. Another use of ultrasound is to check the quality of products in industry. If you imagine firing ultrasound waves at this object here, which should be completely solid, then the waves should part straight through and only be partially reflected at the very beginning of the metal object and at the very end, because these are the points where they're changing between one boundary and another. If there's a crack though, then the waves will be reflected back at the crack, and so the company can tell that there's some kind of fault with the object, because we're getting reflected waves that we didn't expect. The last use we need to cover today is echo sounding, or sonar. This is where boats and submarines fire ultrasounds at the sea floor or other objects in the ocean to find out how far away they are. For example, if this submarine here fired a pulse of ultrasound that traveled at 1400 meters per second towards the sea floor, and it then detected the reflected waves six seconds later, how far away must the sea floor have been? Well, as we're trying to work out a distance, we need the equation, which is distance equals speed times time. So we need to multiply the speed of 1400 by the time of 6 to get 8400 meters. The important thing to realize, though, is that it took 6 seconds for the waves to reach the sea floor and bounce back up again. So the distance from the submarine to the seafloor would be half of 8,400. So only 4,200 meters.
Anyway, that's everything for today. So hope that all made sense. And cheers for watching.